I am Supriti Sood, born and brought up in Andaman Nicobar Islands, Port Blair. I have done my master's degree in zoology and my bachelor's degree in education. I have been teaching since 1973. I, from my childhood, I noticed many things which created problem in my life, which when I became healer, I realized the cause of these problems. At the age of 13, I suffered from kidney trouble and the doctors all gave hope that she is not going to survive. And one doctor from Delhi, he just came to visit that hospital where only one lady doctor used to be there at that time in Port Blair. He was so much impressed when he talked to me and he told me that you can come out of this only if you listen to me. Of course, I didn't want to die at that time. He told me that you should not eat non-veg. You know, I am born in Ireland. We are used to eat fish. I'm not supposed to eat any fish, no eggs, food without soil, without salt, boiled food for one year. And he said he will send me some medicine, which I have to take regularly. You will not believe that for one year, I did not eat anything except the food he has told me. And then of course I was cured. Until date, I'm 70 plus, I never had any kidney trouble. Now I realize that the cause of this was the fear. Fear inside. And that fear was inherited. Because I used to feel fear from a person who was con constructing the house. And I used to feel that he was going to kill me. And I tried to explain to my parents, they did not listen to me, they gave me a slap. They said, I am I'm becoming psycho. Anyhow, then I realized after becoming healer, there are so many things which are inherited too, which we have no control. And stress, stress is very common, you see. The, the children, they are stressed of studies, see that? The parents force them, study, 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 we have to do, go for competition. And then, young people, they have got the job stress, okay, stress from the house, the parents force them for the marriage. So, different type of stress. And the parents, when they have children, the problem of children comes, see that. If, if we have daughters, the problem of the daughters, teenage problems. See, I have I have gone through all these problems, and I understand very nicely how difficult for a pa parents to solve these things. In in one of my course, which is called psycho healing, I teach how to solve them. Now you see everywhere yoga, physical yoga is there. Okay, you can do exercise. Many things are there. But nobody bothers about the mental yoga. There is mental yoga also. Remember, your body is under the control of your mind. If you think you cannot do it, you cannot do it, remember. You can never do it. And if you think you can do it, of course, the problem comes. You don't succeed in one attempt. You have to try again. Don't give up. Keep doing. And one day you will definitely succeed. Mental yoga is very important. And then there is one problem with the young people feel broken heart, okay? Easily the people you see that nowadays everybody, the girls and the boys, they have become very professional. They want to see how they will be benefited. They select the partner in that way. And then, and suppose one person is telling lies to you, okay? He is trying to cheat you. That means that person is not for you. How a person who is not courageous can, can be your life partner, tell me. I remember one girl called me just three days back. 
that she was in love and that the person has left her and he said you go ahead and she was very much disturbed no i want i want the relationship to be continue i said no that is not for you you leave that come out of that maybe something good is waiting for you remember the nature tests you need to be strong you need to be stronger remember so never never uh, waste your time unnecessarily for a person who doesn't care for you doesn't love you let release them and try to be happy then only you will be successful this is the problem which i am facing the young people have caught for which the mental yoga is very important which we teach in our third workshop psycho healing now psychic surgery this i have been doing since 97 i have been i have started and one thing i felt it like i had some clairvoyance power from my childhood i used to feel something and that happens i tried to explain to my parents as i told you they they thought that i'm crazy that's it but when i came to the came to healing i realized that whenever i used to give this healing sometimes i used to do in a different manner not using my mind like some something is guiding me and i used to work with it and for like inheritance many things like fear i have inherited also i know that i have inherited that fear i try to work out i try to work out with that i have succeeded but when a very small example that i'm scared of the cows and i know why i'm scared of the cows because i saw when i was small i saw a bull killing one small girl which which has gone very deep in my mind i have succeeded in that but now also when i when i walk on the road sometimes unconsciously i just cross the road i don't want to go in front of the cow or bull and then i realize no i should not be scared of it and i come back again but you see that some still in my deep mind it is there when i am when i am not aware of it so inheritance is a great problem and when we give surgery the first surgery is for 2 and a half to 3 hours where we work only with the inheritance and we try to remove the energy which is stuck up in the energy body in the organs in the chakra we try to clear it off after that surgery we give some work some written work which the person has to do it and at that time we say that please don't take any medicine if you, you feel like vomiting if you feel like having diarrhea you should not take any medicine if you have headache if you are not able to sleep don't take any medicine because that is the way of coming out some negative energy from your body the second day we work with this life when about we they are aware of it and we start from 0 0 to 12 0 to 12 means since since the fertilization take place since, since the zygote take place since the soul comes to the uh, to uh, to the organ or to the fetus now you see there are two ways one is like zygote like biologically the uh, sperm and ovum fuses zygote is formed so this come from two parents and then the soul enters when the heartbeat starts when the doctor starts feeling the heartbeat that time the soul enters so there's two ways from which the character comes to the person now in this we work with this life and we try to release everything the pers- person has felt it like from 0 to 13 then 13 to 19 then we take like 20 to 29 20, 30 to 39 40 to 49 like that we proceed and we help the person to release after that again we work with the chakra and then again we give them some work to be done we clean the organs again after the second surgery we clean the organs 
and we give them some homework. They have to do it and they come back. The third day, we work with the chakra. Now you see what happens in the chakra. The negative elementals get deposited in the chakra. So what happens? This negative energy, sometimes you see, without any reason, you may feel like you get, you, you feel like expressing anger. You don't know why. You are irritated. You don't know why. At that time, what happens in the chakra, there is internal structure where these elementals get accumulated. And these accumulated uh, elementals, they come together. Okay, they make a group. And then what happens? They create pressure in your chakra. So when they create pressure, you feel that impression comes like you're feeling anger or you're feeling sad without any reason. Okay? Sometimes you don't feel like doing any work. There's a reason for that, remember. Your chakra is having some problem. That's why you feel it. So in that, we take out all the elementals. So when we do this, when you go through these two process, two surgery, in the third surgery, all these elementals which were together, we it comes out separate. We can take out only when it is alone, we can take it out. When they are in group, you can't do anything. When they are in group, you can't do anything. So we take out that, okay? And then we repair it. We make it intact so that you don't feel it. And then we bring the person back. And during that time, the person sometimes they are not aware of it, what's happening. Sometimes they are aware of it. So we keep them, we, we make them aware what we are doing. Like you have to do this, you have to uh, express your emotion. When we are in the particular chakra, whichever chakra controls the function, we tell them to focus on that. So that the person also knows that, what, that what we are doing, so that he understands. Not that we make them sleep and do something, they don't even know, know what they are doing, just close the eyes. Like in many, many therapy, I have seen that, which I don't believe in that the person should, should be aware of it, what's happening. And then we bring them back and then we again, we give them some work. So the fourth and fifth surgery is just for 45 minutes. They come, okay. And that time we check, we teach them some meditation. We don't claim that, okay, you have five surgeries done and you're free. No. They have to be committed for nine months. They have to do it in their house. Ten minutes meditation every day without fail. They have to do it. So we teach them the meditation and suppose some still some elementals, they're very strong, they want to come back. We take it out. We, we just try to destroy them. In third, fourth and fifth surgery, we do them. And then they are free. To do that, they can, they can just be the part of our divine healing, uh, distant divine healing, which we give in a particular time, not that any time the person wants. No, at a particular time, they have to send, they have to, uh, we include them in our Ma Asho healing group. They have to send their picture, the uh, picture of their face and that I am ready. And then we give them for half an hour in a particular time, uh, nowadays, like when it is summer, it is in the morning from 6 o'clock to 6.30. And when it becomes winter, then we change to 7 to 7.30. This is the way the surgery is done. And I feel that this kind of treatment is very important. And it helps a person to live happily. And this is our responsibility. Remember, when we can't change anything, Suppose you are not able to change something, accept it. And when you can change something, change it. And then the responsibility of being happy is your responsibility totally. Nobody can make you happy. You have to be happy from inside you are happy. And sometimes maybe what you are doing, maybe your parents don't like, maybe the society Never care for the society. Society, whatever you they do, they will criticize you. Whether you do good things, they will find fault in you. And you do something bad, still they will find fault in you. So never. So why the nature has given two years? 
listen from here let it go out that's it don't 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 take it to your heart so do what you feel like but you have to be sure that you are doing right things never try to hurt anybody don't uh, intentionally never do harm to anybody it's very important when when we have this power okay you can do in a negative way but remember that what we give we, uh, that comes back to us if i give you good good things will come back and if i give bad na- na- naturally bad things will come and i tell you that after learning healing i just feel the energy from the hands okay and if the hand chakra is open definitely when the energy is good you feel very good smooth energy when the person is having something in heart against you and trying to please you very pricking energy like like you know somebody is pricking you with the needles you feel that so that helps us also how to avoid the negative people and now now when another question comes you are working okay so you can't choose the person around you definitely you can't choose but there is a way which i would like to tell you whenever you go back from the work change wash your clothes and take salt okay dissolve in water one mug of water apply in your full body not on your head only the lower part of the body and wash it all this negative energy which came to you it will go because if first it comes to aura it takes time to go to your body so this is the way you can protect sometimes we can't choose you are working how how you how you can keep changing because so many people are working you have to work so this is the way you can protect yourself so i hope that whatever i have told you it's going to help you and i'll be very happy if you follow this and that will give me happiness when you are benefited from my uh, talk whatever i have told you and please try to apply just not just listen from one ear and let it go from the other don't do that wish you all the best thank you very much